I'm Conor McManus, this is my video report on the jellyfish's dance. Uh, firstly, what I'm happy with is the uh, professionalism of it. It looks quite good as a film, the animation style um, works well um, and it looks uh, professionally made. Um, it suits the, um, and with that, the you've got a good art style for the film. It, it kind of matches what my vision was, which was like a children's book. Um, you know, it's a really simple, effective way of telling the story. Um, and, you know, the animation that's uh, done so far is also uh, really crisp and looks really good. And I'm really, really happy with that. Um, the story and the latest draft of the script, um, I think that's working well. It uh, works well with the animation style that obviously I want to go with. I just want everything to be family friendly. Nothing dark, nothing uh, scary, just a nice film um, with a, a good message. That's kind of what I wanted, and I think that's just happened quite well with this. Um, obviously, it looks all quite fun as well. Um, I mean, if it was all able to be finished properly and things didn't happen the way they did, I think you know it could have been a really good short little film. Um, what would I would have improved with? There's not really much in the animation style and stuff. I would have known how to have changed, um, and also I don't think much could have been changed either. Um, I think everything was kind of done too uh, well. I wanted it to look like, and me and the animator, we tried a lot, we tried hard to try and get it in a nice professional way, make it look the way we wanted to. Uh, uh, the only thing I would have done differently probably was if I had the budget or, or the money. Um, or the time even just to make it like 3D animated um, but also keeping that children's book kind of hand drawn feel which is what the film has at the moment I'd all like to have seen it 3D animated and a bit, bit more uh, fresh fleshed out but obviously it's uh, there's time constraints um, there's only one animator um, and a friend who helped him with a few bits and bobs really um, yeah, so there wasn't any budget for like to make it Pixar style. Um, the only way we can make it Pixar style is through the story. Um, yeah, um, like I said, there's only one animator, so he had to do what he had to do. Just make it neat and short um, with a kind of a simple style. But that's, I mean, the simple style is what I wanted anyway. Um, and obviously you've got the whole uh, COVID-19 interference. See, that stopped the opening section of the live action sequence. Um, I see I had that planned out. Um, I had a few props um, that are now left in Leicester. Obviously, they're just plas plastic bags, so if I had to move home for a reason that wasn't COVID 19, I mean, I could have done that uh, here. But not necessarily, though, because the locations I had in Leicester were a bit more gritty. Um, and I liked the city aesthetic compared to where I live, which is quite a rural area. There's not really many bodies of water that can substitute for a sea, because that was the idea. The live action bit was the plastic bag flying through the sky, through a city, a dirty city, which is what Leicester looks like. Um, and then it lands in, like, uh, the sea. And I would have just obviously just zoomed up on the, the body of water, maybe gone to Abbey Park. Um use the lake there. Um so yeah, obviously um all that closed. All that the um uh, A V loans closed, um so I wasn't able to get good film equipment, lighting and stuff, because I wanted to do it at night. Um so the lighting would have gone. I wanted it with my phone, but it just would have looked bad. And then obviously they had social distancing to start being set in properly. So I wouldn't have been able to have many crew people. And I needed lights and um, you know a camera. And then I'd someone to actually kind of puppeteer the um, plastic bag. So and there's a lot of things I couldn't do with that. Um, again, that it did it did annoy me that. Um, uh, but if you cut that out, you can still have 
a film uh, with the animated section. Which the only thing is that the animated section was, um, you know, did take a hit as well because obviously the animator, um, he was stressed about his job and his, and his family at home. Um, and then obviously we had to stop doing face to face meetings because obviously he lived with someone I um and I was living with my um my partner so we couldn't do face to face meetings which we were doing before mainly in the pre production stage we were getting character designs ready um uh, you know talking about their look uh drawing storyboards up um you know I showed him the script and we were going through certain sections and we were going through his notebooks. Uh, just drawing out, you know, backgrounds and uh, designs for everything. Uh, so we had a lot of um, a lot of designs, character designs uh, done. Um, we did a bit of like looking at like the plastic bag actually, and him drawing that as it fell in air, because that was probably the only way we could um, have that as a reference. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. But we man he managed to do a lot of the animation. Um, well, he didn't get to complete it because time just started crunching. Um, but what he's done, I'm quite proud of. Uh, proud of him doing and just sticking to the vision. So I'm um, happy with that. It's just everything just started grinding to a halt, and I see a lot of people been affected by it with their films in other ways, and they couldn't film it. Um, we're kind of lucky in the state that we could animate it, but we were just, I think, we were quite shocked. I was quite, he was quite shocked that everything was going on, and um, and obviously there was technical issues because we weren't able to access, um, you know, the animation department, so he had to do it off his laptop, which wasn't like the most up to date thing. So files would, you know, take a day or two to just, uh, you know, process or whatever it does on whatever the animation things had to happen it was just taking slower than it would in an actual um, lab um, but yeah that's all about it really